we have developed an interactive training program to improve clinician communication skills in managing patients with chronic conditions in order to increase adherence and reduce disparities in healthcare. This is a demonstration of the interactive training program. A unique aspect of this training approach is the use of direct observation to give individualized feedback to a clinician on his or her communication with a patient. The software uses a simulated patient interview conducted by the clinician to categorize every statement spoken by both the clinician and the simulated patient. The coding scheme used to characterize the medical visit dialogue is the Rotor Interaction Analysis System, RIAS, the most widely used system of its kind. The RIAS reflects communication necessary for the accomplishment of the four functions of the medical visit. Data gathering, patient education and counseling, building rapport, and facilitation and patient activation. The RIAS has been used to assess patient-clinician communication in many medical specialties, including adult and pediatric primary care, emergency medicine, obstetrics and gynecology, oncology, end-of-life and palliative care, surgery, and nursing. This particular video demonstrates features for training primary care clinicians in communication skills to manage patients with chronic conditions such as hypertension, depression, asthma, and diabetes. The primary care clinician trainings use an accompanying workbook with an orientation to the RIAS analysis learning approach and content-specific step-by-step exercises. The workbook also demonstrates how the software can be used in reviewing sample interview clips and guides a clinician through a self-assessment process of their own RIAS analyzed interview. Let's orient ourselves to the RIAS screen in order to review the video. The length of the visit, in minutes and seconds, appears at the bar at the top of the window. The hatch bar with hatch marks shows the sequence of statements during the visit, with doctor statements across the top and those of the patient across the bottom. A marker, white ball, moves along the bar, indicating progress through the visit as the video is played. This marker may be picked up and moved, thereby fast-forwarding or reversing the tape position. At the far right of the bar are percentage figures for the amount of talk contributed by each speaker. When you click on the number of statements to the left of the categories and subcategories in the RIAS category grid, in the doctor and patient columns, and to the left of the proficiencies in the proficiency grid, corresponding color-coded lines will appear on the hatch bar. These lines indicate the locations within the interview where statements of those types occurred. Clicking on these color-coded lines will then take you to the point in the video corresponding to that particular statement. The RIAS category grid on the right side of the screen lists the RIAS categories, as well as the number of statements per category coded for each speaker. The categories are layered. You can view all of the subcategories by clicking on the plus sign next to the main categories. Clicking the plus sign next to each of these subcategories until a minus sign appears, indicating that the menu is fully expanded. The medical functions and the specific categories of talk that fall within each are described in detail in the workbook. You may also use the Help menu to display operational definitions of each RIAS category. The Proficiency Grid lists topic-specific communication skills helpful to manage a particular disease or promote specific health behaviors. For instance, specific skills that are useful to promoting patient adherence are displayed here. By clicking the number in the column to the left of each proficiency, you may retrieve where in the visit these skills were used, or parts of the visit where these skills may have been incorporated. The glossary clips, retrieved by clicking the number in the column on the right of the RIAS category grid and proficiency grid, you will see video clips that illustrate the target skill. The study lessons grid activates video clips for a study-specific simulated patient. Click the plus sign to expand the menu. These clips present the simulated patient's backstory, including the patient's perspective, concerns, knowledge, attitudes and beliefs, and behaviors, including those related to medication adherence and lifestyle. Some things about my lifestyle 
are, I eat late at night when I can't sleep. Um, I've been eating sweets to make me feel better. The playback context box enables the user to determine how much context they want before and after a playback target by setting a number of statements or seconds. For example, in order to hear five statements before and five statements after a selected statement, select five in the playback context. To program the clips to continue playing until stopped by the user, select Play On. Now that you are familiar with the RIAS screen and functionality, let's review an example of a given category. This same procedure is used to review a given proficiency. Click on the number of statements to the left of the desired category or proficiency. The corresponding colored lines will appear in the hatch bar. Click on the play button. A video clip with its specified context will play and stop automatically. Uh, and how have things been going for you overall? Well, things haven't been going that well. Sorry to hear that. Tell me more about that. Clicking play on will allow the clip to continue playing. Click next example to review the next target statement. Click previous example to replay previous clips. The name of the category or skill being reviewed will appear in the selected item box, and any verbatim transcriptions or textual references are displayed in the selected item text box. The unique RIAS software allows you to go directly to those parts of the visit that interest you, see a visual summary of your conversation with the simulated patient over the course of the visit, Review the different kinds of talk that comprise the conversation and select samples of the talk by category for review. Listen to glossary examples of talk categories and specific skills that are useful in the management of patients with chronic conditions. Please visit us on the World Wide Web for additional information about the RIAS Clinician Communication Skills Training Programs.